Iron Lady movie review. This is a biopic on the life of Margaret Thatcher, her political career, and her long marriage to Benny Hill. I mean, Dennis Thatcher. I went into this not really knowing anything about it and kind of expecting you know, a spin-off to Iron Man. I'm kidding. I went into this hoping that I would get to know Margaret Thatcher, you know, beyond just, you know, I'm a little young to remember much of the actual woman's, you know, impact and whatnot, but I wanted to know, and I would expect that that would be the primary goal of a biopic, and I don't feel that was accomplished. Basically, the good. Meryl Streep's performance really is, you know, it. she's Meryl Streep, you know, as a character actor, you don't get much better, you know, it, and she nails it, you know, from having heard the real Thatcher and seeing her, you know, she's got the, you know, the, the look in her eyes, the tone of her voice, the whole thing, just, yeah, she, she's got it down. And that's pretty much the good. The pacing is one of the problems. The film feels a great deal longer than it is. I believe it to be about an hour and 40 minutes. It felt like more than two full hours we're you know and part of it is that it stays so long on her in her current at, at her current age you know and and it, f it it frankly really grinds the film to a halt nothing is happening for a great deal of it it spends a while just you know, with her in her old age, and then finally the plot begins as we get, you know, a flashback to something in her youth, and after that you would expect that it, excuse me, really stick at that point, but it keeps going back and forth. Now, J. Edgar, who, J., the movie J. Edgar, did a similar thing, but it used it well. It was a genuine storytelling device. Here, it just feels kind of clumsy. I can understand, I can appreciate that, you know, a, a person's life isn't just what they did during their life, it is also their old age. And, you know, showing that is fine, but I... I want to know her life. I don't want to see her just as an old person reminiscing her life. I want to see the reminisced life. You know, it spends too long just, yeah, on this old age. The very first scene has her going to the grocers and picking up a milk. And when she gets back, she, you know, complains about the, the, the price of the milk. Now, as I would learn over the course of the film, it is because as a woman who had to fight her entire life, sometimes just to provide for herself and her family, and growing up a grocer's daughter, you know, the price of daily goods is an important subject to her. It is a sort of, you know, it, it is her original trade. And, yeah. That all makes sense, but what I got out of that scene from just seeing it, from not having any of this set up beforehand, was old person goes to store, then complains about prices, you know, prices of daily goods. You know, that's kind of the stereotype and cliche, and the film has several of these occurrences where something isn't set up properly, and it just feels... I have no idea why the husband, Dennis, 
continually, maybe he was like this in real life, I don't know, but it just, it distracts how he keeps doing silly stuff, silly walks and gestures and wearing weird things. Yeah, I, I don't know, maybe... Maybe Broadbent just needed his fix, and they... I don't know, but it just, it really didn't work for the film. There are quite few really effective dramatic moments. A lot of the film, a lot of the film is basically montage, montage, basically just skipping through a lot of what happens. I want to know, I want to understand her policies. I want to understand what she was arguing against, and I want to understand why she chose the policies she did, and I didn't from this movie. You know, I'm not saying that the knowledge isn't out there, maybe, but why else make this movie? It just, it ends up, as several other reviewers have noted, as just feeling like the story of this old woman who's looking back on a life she can barely remember, and... Yeah, I'm not sure why we should care, and frankly, a lot of the way, I didn't, and I didn't sense that I was the only one feeling that way in the theater. There are a few laughs, you know, the occasional charming moments, some, you know, little funny, quotable lines. <sighs> The acting in general isn't bad, at least. It really lacks characterization, I would say, though. I don't feel like I can really draw extensive, you know... I, I can't really speak much of the characters in this, because most of them you just do not get to know. It is really censored on Thatcher, and in spite of that, you still barely get to know her. One thing that I think would have helped, I believe it was my father who suggested that maybe scenes from her childhood, that could have really helped to let us know, because certainly we can deduce character traits from her you know, portrayal in this film. She was certainly driven, is, I suppose, possibly, and she, you know, she can't quite let go. She, she feels like she must constantly be doing something, and, you know, she was very she was nation, nationalistic. She didn't she, she wanted for people to be able to take care of themselves. And again, you know, that one aspect, that does make sense because, you know, having grown up a grocer's daughter and they had to take care of themselves, you know, they, they actually did, you know, and she, she did have to fight to be able to. But I have no under, I, I have no idea why she couldn't, you know basically sit still, why she constantly had to be doing something, why she pushed the people around her so very hard, and I want to understand that, and I don't feel like the movie is providing the clues to actually piece it together. So, yeah, I suppose that's more or less it. It goes over, you know, the major events of her time, and yeah, that's about it. There's not that much insight into it. It's just details, really. It's, it's like watching a, a documentary that doesn't go for much depth or analysis. One thing that I did appreciate about the movie is a number of times they show Thatcher as sort of the only person in the shot. So, you know, sometimes she is literally alone in a room, but other times she actually has people around her, but she is shown as being alone. And 
it does kind of communicate, you know, very much a, a sense of loneliness and having to, you know, be, being the only one, sort of, being, being alone in maybe feeling that this particular decision is the right one and things like that. And I feel that this was fairly nicely communicated as one of the relatively few things, but yeah, all in all, I can't really recommend this movie. I, yeah, if, if you want to know about Thatcher, I'm sure there are better documentaries. It's just, I don't know, do a Google search. I'm sure you'll find it more informative and interesting, frankly. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.